In this video, I'm going to teach you Emmet, which is the fastest way to write HTML code in Visual Studio Code. I mean, look at this. I type a simple command, hit enter, and get all of this HTML code in just a few seconds. It comes with VS Code, you don't need to install anything extra, and you only need to understand how it works following these three steps. Step 1. Create simple elements and attributes. When you write your HTML code, you probably already know that you don't have to type the greater than and less than symbols. You can just write button and hit enter to get the opening and closing tag for it. This works for every HTML tag, and some of them will even come with an attribute, like the input tag for example. In Emmet you can also define the content of an element using curly braces. This can of course be any type of text content you want in your element. Whatever I type in here will be placed between the opening and closing tag. The most common attributes you want to add to your element are classes and IDs. You can add a class to your element by simply typing a dot and then the name of your class. To add an ID to your element, use the hashtag and then the name of the ID. Pretty simple. All the other attributes require a pair of square brackets. Here you declare the attribute and its value manually. This will probably not save you much time, but the next thing will. Step 2. Operators. Operators allow you to chain multiple elements and create child elements and siblings. Use the greater than symbol to define a child element. ul greater than li will give you an unordered list with an li inside. Use the plus symbol to create a sibling element meaning an element on the same level of the HTML hierarchy. And of course, you can create a big chain of elements by combining multiple HTML elements with these operators. These operators are pretty useful when you already have your entire HTML structure in mind. For instance, the structure of a navbar, which is pretty much the same every time. So in theory, you could create the entire HTML code using a single emmet command. But that would be insane. But just in case you actually want to do that, you might have noticed a problem by now. Right now, we can only go down the HTML hierarchy by using the greater than symbol. We are always nesting further. But what if we want to go up by one level? Maybe you want to exit the UL and place something next to it. For that, we have to use the caret symbol, which is this arrow pointing up. So when I'm at the nav UL li and I want to go up again, I type the caret and any element I create here, like a button for example, will be on the same level as the UL. As you can see, this will work just fine. One special element in Emmet is the div container. Since this is the most common and generic HTML element, you don't even have to type it. For instance, if you just write a class and confirm, then it will automatically assume that you want to create a diff with that class. The same goes for IDs and other attributes. Simply type hashtag flexcontainer to create a diff with the ID flexcontainer. Now, all of that is pretty simple and not that much faster than typing it manually. But the real power of Emmet lies in step 3, loops and index. Loops allow you to repeat a certain part of the Emmet abbreviation. And this is really powerful. For instance, in the code of our navbar, I want to create 10 list items inside the UL. For that, I simply go to the part I want to repeat and say times 10. This command will now repeat the li 10 times. This is called the multiplication operator. Of course, it will also work when the element has classes, IDs or other attributes. The loop will always repeat the part of the emmet command up to the last operator. But you can also change the scope using parentheses. So this command will create 10 list items. But if I place parentheses right here, then this will create 10 ULs with one list item each. So the parentheses can be used to group a part of the Emmet command and therefore change what part of the Emmet command you want to multiply. I hope that makes sense because that is already the basic syntax of Emmet abbreviations. But there are also three very special Emmet commands that are real game changers. The first one is the index. This is a counter variable, which is also the reason why I call the multiplication operator a loop. Because whenever you use the multiplication operator, you can now use the index variable, which is represented by the dollar sign. If you create 10 list items, and each list item has a class item, then you can also type the dollar sign right after it. Because then the index will be printed into the class name. That means if I hit confirm, they are now numbered item 1, item 2, item 3, and so on. Now the possibilities of this index variable are endless. Here's a crazy example. We create 10 list items where we change the style attribute to override the transition delay. And now we use the dollar sign right here. Because that will now create 10 list items where the first item has a 1 second delay, the second one a 2 second delay, the third one a 3 second delay, and so on. Of course, this example is taking it a bit far, and I highly doubt that you can come up with these examples right away while coding. After all, remember, the goal is to save time. And if you have to think about your emmet commands too long, then it's not actually saving time. That said, here are two more special Emmet commands that actually do save a lot of time. The exclamation mark is the Emmet abbreviation used at the beginning of your HTML code. This will generate the basic HTML backbone with the head and body structure and some meta tags. This is pretty useful stuff. But my favorite Emmet command is this one. Sometimes in web design, we need some placeholder text whenever we are too lazy to come up with all of these marketing phrases. 
In these cases, we use the Latin text lorem ipsum, and normally we have to copy it from some website. But in Visual Studio Code, you can simply type the Emmet command lorem and then the amount of words you want to generate. So lorem 50 will generate 50 words, just like that. I hope you learned something interesting in this video. If so, there's actually more cool stuff you can learn on this channel. So subscribe to this channel to see more from us and it will also motivate us to produce even better videos. You can also watch this video right here to learn more about web development. My name is Fabian and this was Coding2Go. I will see you in the next video.